Hello everyone, I am Plasma from RuPaul's Drag Race and I am here celebrating the Glad Media Awards because it's the most glamorous event for queer people in New York City, okay? And across the world! Is that good? Great, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and what do you, I know you're part of the show, but what do you admire about the way that um, Drag Race has started conversations about LGBTQ lives in, in people's homes, uh, not just here in the US, but across the world? Yeah, um, I, you know, I really have to hand it to RuPaul because RuPaul started the show in a time where drag wasn't entirely visible and, you know, there, there's the, inf <clears throat> excuse me, the infamy of drag and queer nightlife in the 80s and 90s. And then, of course, drag has had this incredible renaissance over the last 15, 20 years, thanks largely to RuPaul. And if you had told me as a young queer person in Northeast Texas where I was growing up at, you know, eight, nine years old, that dressing like a lady and performing numbers and having a tequila soda would be my livelihood, I would have laughed. As a child even, I would have laughed in your face. A and the impact of the show is so much more far reaching than I can even imagine. I mean, even just right now in, in my 15 minutes as it were, I've seen lives change because I got a really fabulous opportunity. Lives beyond mine, lives beyond what I thought was my reach and now it's just, the possibilities are endless. And how have things been for you sort of um, if you compare prior to the show to now that everyone's seen 16 and of course like a record-breaking um, number of viewers or it's, been, it's been certainly been the, the most watched in many years, hasn't it? Yes, I actually, I remember there was an article that was released a couple days after I was eliminated that that episode where I was eliminated was the highest viewed episode since 20... 13 perhaps I don't want to be I don't want to misquote myself or, or perjure myself but I I remember sitting back and realizing this is the the biggest thing that I have ever ever been a part of and maybe the biggest thing that I will ever be a part of hopefully not I've got some good things cooking but I I just remember feeling that as a queer person as a queer artist I have such a platform and such an opportunity and a privilege to share my voice with the world, which I think, as my mom would always say, I have to use my superpowers for good and not evil. So there's a tremendous pressure, but it's it's one that I take great pride in and great joy in. So the experience has been 99.87% completely fabulous. And as All Stars 9 is about to start, what are your thoughts on the lineup? And is there anyone in particular that you're rooting for? Yes, I am Team Angeria Paris Van Michaels. And she, is, she actually on Twitter and on social media was hyping me up throughout season 16. And she and I had never really like met or had a relationship prior to the season. Uh, but I just found so much kinship in her just because of her online support. You know, which is not to be taken for granted in, in an age where online support and online representation is, you know, a lot, a lot of what we do, a large part of our job. So I'm really grateful for her and I can't wait to share the support and the love right back. Thanks so much. Anything you'd like to say about this gorgeous look tonight? Oh, thank you. Well, I am an old Hollywood girl at heart, and I've had this dress actually for a couple of years. But this dress, when I bought it, signified sort of a turning point in my drag. And I wanted to wear it tonight as a symbol of resilience and accomplishment and pride in myself, because that's what we're here for, is to be proud of the accomplishments of our community. So I wanted to share in that in my own little personal way. Well, have a fabulous night. Thank you so much. You too, baby. Mwah, good to see you. I just